So when you are involved with a plan that is uh, following more of a systematic approach, uh, it's really helpful to know what's going on physiologically. So we can track different types of training loads or training effort levels, even training stress levels. So when you have heart rate, for example, you have heart rate transmitters now that you can wear around the chest. We've had those for quite a while. Now you can actually optically get your heart rate from your monitors on your wrist. So these devices, we can connect with the plan, really, and make sure that you're adhering to what the goal of the, tr the training workout was for the day. So heart rates work for the endurance side, keeping you within a specific training zone. Uh, they're very helpful in doing that. We now have external loads that we're looking at as well, which would be something like your pace, or it could be power on a bike if you have a power meter. And those are another way you can really track the training load and the volumes a little bit more precisely and see what you're doing. Uh, what's great is when you know the physiological intrinsic, which is like a heart rate response to the workload, and then you add in some of the external loads like your power, you can see how efficient your training or how efficient your adaptation at the training is coming along. So are you getting better uh, physiologically? In other words, is it a lower effort level for a higher power output? Um, are you able to stay in a particular zone longer before drifting out and away from what the load is. So all these things can be very helpful in identifying if you're on the right track in your training and seeing if, um, if the stimulus is on par for what you can tolerate.